Hey guys, so I wanted to share what I did to just switch up my nutrition a little bit this week. I have been contemplating doing this for over six months and I decided finally on Sunday, Matt and I talked about it, the day that we were home from Disneyland and I was able to go to the grocery store and prep a little food and I was like, hey, do you wanna try intermittent fasting with me? And he's like, okay, sure, cause he can eat, he doesn't, he can go long amounts of time without eating. Um, I'm the one that more thinks I have to eat little meals all day long uh, just because my blood sugars can get low. And so we talked about it and here's what we did. Okay, so I'm already gluten free. And so I don't eat a lot of carbs anyway because they don't make me feel that good. But I decided that I was going to use my container count for the plan that comes with it so that I know my caloric range and I know the food groups that I need. But I was going to cut out the yellows and only eat like one yellow a day and have that be sweet potatoes because veggies have a lot of carbs in them. Um, and then I actually limited my fruits to just one a day as well so that I was limiting that and then I was adding a blue um, so that I could have a little extra avocado for the healthy fats. So I'm testing this just to see how I feel through the rest of the program. So far, a week in, I feel fantastic. I didn't even expect to feel as good as I do. And I love that I can use the containers instead of having to count calories. And I can just go based on how I feel, how bloated I am, you know, what the scale says. I can keep checking to see what foods are making me feel my best. So intermittent fasting, I'm reading a book on it right now. I'm not an expert, but from what I've learned, eating within an eight to 10 hour window is best. So I, I chose an eight hour window. So 11 to seven are my hours and those can change. Like one day I started eating at 1230 because I had, I got busy in the morning. I didn't get a chance to eat. And so I kicked it back a little bit, but 11 to seven is perfect for me. And I eat at 11, 230 and six. So that's about three and a half hours in between each meal, which gives my body time to digest the meal, have a little time to rest, and then I eat again. So it's been great because now I just don't feel like I have to think about food as much. I just have to make sure that I have things prepped because if I don't, then I'm like, oh no, what am I gonna eat right now? So I've been busy prepping the night before or two days before. Um, I did an egg frittata this week with a really yummy Greek yogurt cucumber dill sauce and it's full of veggies. And then I did um, spaghetti squash with ground turkey in it and a little marinara sauce. And I've been doing mixed veggies, like all sorts, like onions and sugar snap peas and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and just whatever vegetable I feel like eating, I'll put into my cast iron skillet and I'll saute it in some um, just whatever, olive oil or avocado oil, and then I'll top it with some balsamic and a little seasoning at the end, and that's been a really awesome side for my, to go with my meats. So it's been really easier than I thought. I like having less grains. I have noticed that I'm not as bloated. I feel like I can see my muscle definition. My energy for my workouts, I do drink Energize first thing in the morning. It's not enough calories to break my fast, so I will wake up, I'll drink water, I'll drink that, I can have tea during my fast, I can have black coffee. Um, so there's really, it's not that stressful and maybe I got a little hungry a few times in the morning, um, but I haven't noticed less energy during my workouts, which is what I was thinking. The only thing that's been tricky is I love my Recover, it's the post-workout performance line supplement. So sometimes I will like do my Transform 20 and then work a little bit and do another little work out for like 30 minutes and drink my recover. So I've been able to sneak and recover about three times a week, but that's the only thing is it will break my fast. So if I'm working out at 6.30 in the morning, I can't have my recover, you know, and it's pointless to drink it at 11 when I can have my first meal. So I, I've been trying to play around with that. That's the only downside of this for me, um, but I've noticed more energy, more mental clarity, and I haven't been quite as hungry throughout the day with like the ups and downs of, oh no, it's been three hours, I need to eat. Like I just haven't felt that. Um, I have been having a little bit of peanut butter and chocolate chips for dessert. So I have been having that every day, but I've been really trying to limit my sugars and I'm feeling better. I'm feeling less addicted to sugar and carbs, which is oh, such a freeing feeling. No rice cakes, no gluten-free bread, 
uh, not, no rice or quinoa because those don't really agree with me anyway. So it's been good. I'll keep you posted. I hope this helped maybe like plant a little seed if you've been thinking about doing intermittent fasting. It might be something that you'll want to try for weight loss. And I can write the book in the blog of what I'm listening to right now to uh, just kind of gain a little more knowledge to know why I'm doing it. I'll talk to you soon. Okay guys, so this is the third week, which means it's the second chapter of this workout and the name is climb so he has given us a ton of new moves as you'll see i wanted to showcase a few of them for you because a lot of them i really enjoyed um, i really liked some of the moves where you were extending your back and working your core at the same time trying to get better at my push-ups and keeping my head in line with my spine and keeping my head up but it's still a work in progress i I'm feeling stronger, finally. Um, I swear it has taken me a minute to get used to this fast paced workout. My kids did join me for one of the mornings, which was super cute. They're so adorable. And yes, that is a Pokemon onesie that you see and a ginormous Minnie Mouse <laughs> like sweatshirt on my daughter. Um, I love being an example to them. I love that they can come down and know that they can jam out to with Shanti and mommy and break a little sweat before school. So the moves you're seeing here are a lot slower. It's called Balanced, it's Saturday's workout. And I love it because it really is an opportunity just to slow the pace down, stretch everything out, feel really refreshed before rest day on Sunday. And just a little heads up, we have a few more spots in our online boot camp for February. So join us. <laughs> 